y'all welcome back to what I'm on today today we're gonna be talking about lambskin and is it worth buying stay tuned remind me of 12th grade remind me of young shade feel like a new shoe remind me of old games taste like a ice cold taste like a mango feel like some new socks taste like an angel she look like a badu wrote her a haiku hey y'all welcome back to what I'm on today my name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. Today I wanted to have a little conversation about lambskin and lambskin handbags and are they worth buying? I feel like within our luxury and handbag community there's always like little rumblings and conversation going on about lambskin as it relates to other leathers and there's always question about the durability of it. Is it worth your money because it's so delicate? Is it so high maintenance? And, um, and, and always there's kind of a question of like, is it worth purchasing? So I wanted to talk today about a couple of brands that I actually have lambskin handbags from. I'm gonna go over those bags, go over the wear and tear of them, and kind of let you know the look and the feel of the lambskin, and if I recommend that you purchase the bag. So I have brands from all different price points which I'm very excited about and I'm actually glad that like contemporary brands have um, Lux leathers as well that they're using so the first brand that I want to talk about today is Tory Burch this is the Tory Burch Cura bag um, this is a fully lambskin leather bag on the outside and then the inside of the bag has a canvas material this was actually the very first first, I believe, um, lambskin handbag that I had purchased. And I will say that I've had this bag for probably about two to three years at this point. And this particular lambskin that Tory Burch uses is very, very durable, in my opinion. This bag retails for right around $498 or so dollars if you're not able to get it on sale. Um, and I think that the wear and tear on this bag honestly has been pretty great. There are no scratches that I have on this bag. And in feeling this particular lambskin on this bag compared to some of the other lambskin bags I'm going to show you, um, I would say that this is almost the kind of feel of even like a calf skin. So I think that with this particular lambskin that Tory Burch uses, it's not super delicate. I think that you could use this as a daily bag and still be good. Obviously, when you're talking about lambskin and bags, you also have to really think about the size of the bag and you do have to think about like how the bag is constructed. So this bag has like, for instance, pointy corners and pointy, um, the bottom is pointy as well. So obviously there is probably going to be wear there, um, regardless of the leather, uh, just because of how one would use the bag and it rubs up against things naturally. But I would say for this particular bag, literally nowhere have had this for two to three years. Again, not necessarily a daily bag for me. So keep that in, in mind. But I would say that this lambskin is as durable as any other leather uh, bag that I have in my collection. So I would definitely recommend if you are looking to try out lambskin, this is a great way to go, especially for the price point of the bag. And often this bag you can find on sale for at least 30 to 50% off. So I would say that this is a great bag to try out that lambskin, but it's also a great daily uh, bag to use because this lambskin is pretty durable, pretty tough. The next brand that I wanted to talk about their lambskin is Bottega. So the Bottega cassette bags, as well as the Arco Tote, which I will show you, um, they all have, they're all made of lambskin leather. Again, much like the Tory Burch, I feel like this is a very, very durable um, lambskin leather. This price point on this bag has gone up a couple different times. I think it's like around 3000 or 3100 You know, if you get it from the retail store, I'll put the price down below. Um, this is a smaller bag, so lambskin in smaller bags, some say, um, is better than getting it in a big bag. 
I have all types so we'll go over them all but for this one I think it's pretty durable like again this is not a daily bag for me either but this is definitely a bag that doesn't have any wear on it at all it has no scratches on it um, and it is a bag that is it feels a lot softer than the um, Tory Burch bag but it's like it's just durable. It's not the softest lambskin uh, bag that I have in my collection. So I feel like this particular cassette bag is one of those lambskins that you can use on a daily basis and you're going to be totally fine. Again, this particular lambskin I feel like is very durable and it's as durable as any other calfskin um, leather that you may have instead. So definitely recommend this lambskin for a bag, again, that you don't have to like baby, that will be fine. The Bottega Arco Tote is also made of lambskin. Now this lambskin, I would say, is a lot softer than the cassette bag and obviously a lot softer than the Tory Burch bag. I feel like this being a tote bag and the use of a tote bag is to be banged around, to throw stuff in, to use... Um, probably not as carefully as maybe some of the other bags in your collection. Um, I've used this a couple times so far for travel and I don't have any scratches on this bag um, at this point, but I do feel like this bag is probably a little bit more um, sensitive than the other two bags that I've shown you. And I'm saying that with a grain of salt because even though it feels softer, I have used this for its purpose, which has been a travel bag. I have not been super kind to it, right? I'm not slamming it around, but I'm using it with a whole bunch of stuff in it. I'm laying it down where it needs to be laid down and I'm not being careful with this bag and I have no scratches and no wear on this bag at all. So this one feels soft, but I feel like the looks are deceiving for the actual durability of this bag. And again, we're talking a lambskin leather bag that is a tote um, that I'm not being at all that um, has no scratches, no wear on it, although it's lambskin. So again, I've only used this about three or four times, um, always, like I said, as a travel tote. So I would have to say that I would recommend this um, for, you know, travel use and the use that it's intended for. And it's in lambskin and it hasn't been beaten up. It's not too delicate to use. So again, Another example that lambskin isn't that that delicate. I'll take that back. All lambskin isn't that that delicate. So I think Bottega is doing a really good job of using lambskin and making it very durable on their bags. My next lambskin is from YSL. Um, I have a couple of examples to show you guys from YSL of their lambskin. This lambskin feels so good and so soft, very plush very very luxurious I've talked to you guys about my experience with this bag and it being soaking wet in the rain um, when I first got it and revamping just like that um, because of the size of the bag I don't know why like all of my lambskin bags are like big but um, you know I have scratched this bag uh, I think I have one scratch right here but other than that I haven't had any scratches on this bag and this is a very large bag I use this bag for whatever you know this is a bag that's in a decent rotation so I probably wear it every month or so um, and even though it's a very large bag I feel like it's super durable like I don't have to be so careful with it but I want to be a little bit careful with this um, just because it's a bigger bag in lambskin and it feels really soft like it could scratch really fast but even though it feels that way again for this particular bag I feel like the looks and the feels are deceiving because it really is like a durable it really is a durable lambskin bag um I don't have any wear on this bag um as much as I've used it and as you can see the corners are um you know kind of sharper corners um, but nowhere on this with the exception of that scratch. Um, and then with this as well, um, this and probably some of the other ones that I mentioned as well, like this, the scratches buff out really, really easily, but by just kind of 
putting your thumb or your finger on it or you can obviously take like a cloth and do it as well but it's like really easy unless you actually penetrate the leather the other bags that I've shown you um they've not scratched so I think that they're a little bit more sturdy in the lambskin because it's a little bit harder to scratch period where this one I think could probably scratch faster than the ones that I've shown you thus far um, but the maintenance of it it's easy to get the scratches out as long as they don't penetrate um, but I feel like the lambskin here is like very delicate so I would not be afraid of um, the YSL puffer bag in the lambskin the next YSL bag that I have is called the Nikki um, this is the Nikki in the medium size this is one of the newer bags within my collection um, this particular lambskin is very soft um, but because of the stitching I think that that provides a little bit of durability I would say that this definitely feels extremely soft like the YSL puffer but the leather on this is a lot thinner so I haven't used this bag yet but I can tell you when I purchased this bag it was the last one in the store and there were um, a couple of small scratches and um, my essay was able to easily buff those out and they are no longer I don't have scratches anywhere else on the bag and I can't say this definitively but I feel like this bag is definitely going to be more prone to scratches than the puffer bag and I think part of that is just because of how like thin the leather is um compared to the other one where it's like very kind of puffy and there's a little bit more um resistance so but i can't be sure of that because obviously i have not ever even worn this bag um so i will come back with a review on this to give you definitively but so far i know that this bag can scratch because when i purchased it there were some scratches on the bag um but also those scratches can easily be buffed out again I am choosing a larger bag in the um, in the lambskin um, leather but again I like larger bags in this season and I love I personally like lambskin leather so I will tell you if I would recommend this so far I know that it does scratch and the scratches do come out so I feel like you have to be at least moderately careful with this particular bag and one of the last examples that I have um, are my Chanel bags um, so I do have uh, three two or no three Chanel bags in lambskin the lambskin in Chanel is a little bit different depending on the bag this is my Chanel double flap in the maxi size this is from 2011 or 2012 I believe very buttery 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 soft um, has this bag scratched yes it has do I have any um hard time taking out the scratches no like literally whenever this bag has scratched and i've gotten a couple like on the back i can just easily buff them out i do feel like out of the bags that i just sh that i've shown you this is probably like one of the more delicate um lambskins it feels really soft which it is and i feel like it is definitely easier to scratch um, this bag I can even see like a scratch um, on the side um, but overall I feel like the durability of the bag is pretty decent for its size but I will tell you that this is super soft feels really great absolutely going to scratch um, as long as it's not penetrating the leather you can easily get the scratch out um, in terms of wear and tear I don't have any areas of wear with the exception of one which you probably can't see which is right here I can see like some of the leather has rubbed off uh, just right here in this particular spot um, none of my other bags in my entire collection from any house I don't think have any like wear like that where it's kind of like rubbing rubbing off with the exception of my um, my big coach travel bag which is to be expected so i'm not necessarily sure where this particular uh rub came from but i guess i can say that this is a lot more delicate than the other brands that i mentioned to you way more delicate of course than tory birch 
way more delicate than Bottega and even more delicate than the YSL. Lastly, I wanted to give you one more example of the Chanel lambskin. This is on one of their seasonal bags, which is like a little mini bag. And I will tell you that this bag is so delicate that when I purchased this bag, there were only a couple left in the United States and they were all coming from the store, like beat all the way down. This one that I got was the best looking of them and it came with, I think there was like a small scratch that I was able to buff out, but the other ones were like really like beat down. So I will say that this right here, I've worn this a bunch. Um, and so there is not any extra wear, but there are like little teeny like scratches um, and, and little kind of dents. And I think that this bag out of all of the bags that I showed you is probably going to wear a lot faster than the other bags. Um, the lambskin on this is just so soft and then the, just the bag itself um, is just so soft that I can see this wearing a lot faster than any of the other ones. So with, that, with those examples of lambskin, I feel like the consensus is that lambskin can be super duper delicate depending on the bag you choose and the brand and how that particular brand does their lambskin. Um, based on this, we know that Tory Burch has a very durable lambskin that almost feels like a calf skin, like it's not super duper soft to the touch, but obviously softer than some other bags in the Tory Burch collection. Um, but you don't have to be super delicate with those bags. Um, Bottega, again, great bags, great quality bags. Their lambskin is very durable lambskin leather. Um, YSL, a little bit more delicate than the other two that I mentioned, but still, you don't have to baby them 24-7. Um, Chanel, a little bit different. They are using, I guess, the supplest of lambskin, and um, I could see those bags having a lot of wear on them, um, and I can see those bags really having to be bags that you baby, because I know that I have to baby those particular bags within my collection. Um, so I hope that this is helpful. I, I, I hope that the idea is that you shouldn't be afraid of any leather, right? You're going to take care of your bags, but just because everybody says you should stay away from a certain thing doesn't necessarily mean that you have to. And different brands are treating their leathers in different ways, and some are way more durable than others. So again, I hope that this was helpful. I hope this helped helps you make some decisions if you are considering lambskin bags. I love them personally. I think that they look so luxe and they feel so luxe. And I actually personally prefer lambskin over um, other leathers. So if you have any comments below, feel free. If you have any questions about any of those bags or, you know, anything that I didn't go over from the actual, um, you know, understanding of lambskin for those particular bags, let me know. I'm here to answer all questions. Um, if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you love all things handbags, definitely um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Everyone, if you haven't done so already, feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm usually styling my bags there. Um, and for those of you who have been here who are continuing to watch my videos and continuing to stick with me and you've subscribed, thank you guys. I always appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys next Saturday at 1. Bye.